So a couple days ago I asked you guys to leave your questions down below and I answered them in a Q&A. This is the Q&A. So I got a lot of questions on Twitter and YouTube. If I answer all of them, it's going to be a quick response because I don't want this video to be too long. I'm going to try to answer about three-fourths of all of them. I literally have not even read any of the questions yet. This is all brand new to me. I'm going to start with Twitter first only because they had the fewer amount. I also just hit 2,000 followers on Twitter. So thank you guys if you did follow me on Twitter. If you didn't, you should do it. So let's get with the questions. What's your favorite WWE memorabilia that you own? Uh, for one, thank you. You bought one of the subscribe shirts. I forget about that. See? Somebody open up their wallet, you guys should too. Link down in the description. And my favorite wrestling memorabilia that I have, it would have to be this shirt. I mean, I got like 50 something autographs on it. I'm guessing, I really don't know how many is on that. Who's your favorite wrestler outside the WWE? So you mean like indie wrestler? Uh, Leo Rush? Uh, Wyatt, I really wanna answer that. Yes, I guess I will. How did you get into watching wrestling? I think a couple people actually asked me that. So you're the lucky one that I answer, I guess. This is basically how it went. I was eight years old. My dad came to the room. He was like, hey, you wanna watch something cool? I was like, yeah, I wanna watch something cool. He turns on the TV. It was John Cena Triple H doing backstage segment in 2008. My reaction? Yeah, that's cool. That's pretty much it. Most underrated WrestleMania of all time and most overrated. Overrated, probably WrestleMania 32, just because they always talk about the attendance and stuff, but the match quality wasn't all that great, minus two matches. That's the Intercontinental and then the women's triple threat. That was great. Underrated, WrestleMania 26. People don't talk about it that much. I mean, they do because I'm taking Shawn Michaels. I was such a big fan of John Cena, Batista, and Triple H and Sheamus. I bet you forgot that even happened. How do you stay in shape? I if you count circle as a shape. Protein, eat clean. I just ate some cookies last night. Never mind, I didn't say that. Lift, eat, run, cardio, fitness, exercise, lifestyle. Not a diet, lifestyle change. What those that BS stuff they always tell you. You gotta eat some green stuff, you gotta lift some weights, then you gotta run a little bit. That's pretty much it. What's your biggest dream? Go to WWE. It was a dream. I had a dream that my dog was wearing a sombrero, cussing me out in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I can't make that kind of stuff up. Just take my word for that. What's your favorite John Cena attire? Dorks in a t-shirt. <laughs> I don't know. Um, purple. The purple one was really cool. Who's your biggest dream opponent? Past, present, and NXT. Past? I want to say Dusty Rhodes. I just love Dusty. Present? Sami Zayn or Cesaro. And NXT. That's because I watched him and Leo debut. Patrick Clark. Uh, what's he going by now? Velveteen Dream. Denise, what's up? If you could only listen to one WWE theme song for the rest of your life, which would it be? Santino Morella. Honestly, because you'd be on the treadmill just doing the little walk that he does. It's fun. Favorite YouTuber. I'm going to go outside the WWE. I'm going to say Casey Neistat. I just love him, man. He's just the greatest. And Phil DeFranco. Because he's the reason I no longer really need to watch the news because he kind of tells me everything I need to know. Maharaja. 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 I'm sorry. Would you rather be a millionaire or meet Rusev? That one. Do you know me? I'm Super Cena! Put it in all capitals. Uh, duh. What kind of question is that? Of course I do. Why aren't you getting a lot of recognition? I don't know. No, I'm just joking. Use match up for the subscribers. But just in due time, I've gained a lot of subscribers this month. So I greatly appreciate that. So thank you all of you guys. Because I think we just hit 4.5. So thank you to everyone. Put your head down. Keep grinding. Know what I mean? Can you do a lifting video? I'm going to start doing that. I've been healing up from elbow injuries. I haven't been lifting heavy lately. Just doing a lot of reps and stuff. July, August. It's going to happen this summer. Because I plan on doing a power to meet. Not really a power to meet. Like a strict curl meet. I might be breaking a world record soon. But I'll get into that later. July. August. Which company is better, AAA or CZW? I have uh, never watched a full AAA show. I have watched CZW, so I'm just gonna go with that because I've seen it, but AAA does seem really good. I think I watched like Rey Mysterio versus Sin Cara. It wasn't as good as I expected. I haven't watched any of it, so I'm just gonna have to go with CZW. Who's your favorite? <laughs> no, I'm not answering that. Did you know you have a French subscriber? Me! Now I do. I take French in high school. I know a lot of people think I'm like 24 or something. I'm 17. Bonjour, monsieur. Como ça va? Then you say bien or something like that. <laughs> I got an A. Are you gonna be dropping some more merch? Yeah, I'm definitely. I have a lot of ideas actually. So uh, thank you for asking that, Marcus. So that way I can plug the t-shirts and once again, buy them, please. Just, please. What WWE superstar inspires you the most on a daily basis? Uh, that's a really good question. So thanks, Elizabeth. And um, John Cena, it have to be. I've been a fan of his since I was like eight, so. Carries a lot of weight. Yeah, it's just John Cena. Has to be. What's the first wrestling event you went to? So it was a SmackDown in 2009 in Hampton, Virginia at the Hampton Coliseum. The dark main event was a fatal four-way between Undertaker, Batista, CM Punk, Rey Mysterio. It might have been two weeks before or the week before TLC 2009. Of course, Undertaker won it. But I remember after that, I met R-Truth in a gas station. 
<laughs> oh, it was cool. Which one do you like better, Okada versus Omega 1 or 2? I heard Dave Meltzer actually gave the second match a 6.25 star rating. Dude, can you make up your mind? I mean, you only go out of 5. Why are you throwing in these little decimals? I don't think I ever fully watched the first one. I think I watched a lot of highlights. And then when I watched it, I only watched like a good portion of it. But I did watch the entire second one, so I'm just going to go with that because I watched the entire thing. But in general, based off like what I can remember of both matches, I'm going to have to say the second one. Am I the best Scottish subscriber? I think you're the only one, Rachel. So by default, yes. And in general, yes. What pay-per-view are you going to after Battleground? WrestleMania 34? I'm not Brandon. I don't do that kind of stuff. Actually, no. Uh, I might go to a Royal Rumble because that's in Philly. 80% sure I will. So that's like basically yes. Would you rather kill Sami Zayn or make Rusev go into a coma? What fourth dimensional hell did you come from? That's horrible. I love Sami. That is Rusev and Sami is such so likable and Rusev is just God. Yeah, Sami, you dead, man. How did Mickey Gall beat you in two minutes? Is that like a knock-knock joke? Let me call Phil and try to get some pointers. Hey, yeah, how did he beat you? Yeah, oh, you tapped out like a little bit. Okay, hey, I'm joking. All right, chill, man. Um, yeah, so how would I beat him in two minutes? Got to hang up. I have one last thing I want to say. Um, you tapped. That's a joke, I love CM Punk. Leo Rush or Ricochet? Leo Rush. You already knew the answer to that. Everyone you love dies but me and Rusev. Or Rusev becomes a vegetable forever. Yo, wh where are all these demented questions coming from about Ruru? Everyone said for you and Rusev dies. Uh, what kind of vegetable will Rusev be? Like broccoli? Because I like broccoli. How old are you, man? I'm 17. Not 24, not 32, not 28, none of that. 17. 17 years old, gonna turn 18 in ne next week or two, three. Yeah, they rank four guys by their wrestling and mic skills. AJ Styles, Y2J, Seth Rollins, and Bobby Roode. Four would have to be Bobby Roode simply because of a wrestling standpoint. He's not bad, but if you want to compare him, then yeah, he's, he's four. Number three is gonna have to be Styles, only because his mic skills isn't on par with Rollins or Jericho. But his wrestling is far beyond just like anyone's. Number two would have to be Rollins. When he's a baby face, he's quite stale. And number one has to be Y2J. He's very good in the ring. Past phenomenal on the mic. Yeah, it goes Jericho, Rollins, Styles, Root. Would you rather wrestle AJ Styles or Shinsuke Nakamura? Hope I see you at WrestleMania as well. Yeah, I hope I see you too. If you have a match with AJ Styles, literally everyone talks about it. Like, so I'm gonna have to say AJ Styles. I met Nakamura the other day. He's such a nice guy. He would kick the actual crap out of me. So yeah, Styles. Nicest wrestler you ever met? Hmm, Ron Simmons or Usos. Probably Ron Simmons though. Why did you put me on the list, Malcolm? Because I can and I will put a tally mark next to your name too. This is the list. You see your name. One because you said something. You get the second one because you spelled my name wrong. There's a second L. I'm just joking, man. But uh, yeah, you do get two tally marks, so deal with that. What's your favorite wrestling championship? IWGP Heavyweight Championship. What's your favorite autograph in your collection? Uh, I don't have it on me, but it's a John Cena autograph Fruity Pebbles box. I still don't know where that is. I have not looked. Or actually, is this. Hold on, almost there. Yeah, that's it. Here it is. One is an autograph, 8x10 of John Cena at WrestleMania 29 against The Rock. And if you look carefully, you put two Muscle Man Malcolm which I greatly appreciated. Roddy Piper. Also, if you look right there, he also put to Muscle Man Malcolm. When I told him my name, he said that I was super unique. And I was like, really? I love that man. Roddy Piper is a goat. Who's your favorite women's wrestler? Uh, currently, Alexa Bliss. Also, Sasha Banks. I'll go with Sasha Banks. Two questions. Do you want to be a wrestler? Yes, I do. And what was your reaction to Hardy Boys Return? Hey man, who's your favorite match? Luchador, Juan Cena. McMahon Pro, you actually asked me the same thing as why, but I just want to acknowledge the fact that you said that because I have the most likes. I just want to say thank you, so appreciate it, man. What would your wrestling gimmick be? I really don't know at the moment. You guys tell me what it should be. How about this? In the comments, for one, tell me what my wrestling gimmick should be, and then two, what's something that the women have not done in WWE that they should be doing? Because honestly, I think they've done pretty much everything that you know is important in WWE that they can accomplish. One year's time, they're just rolling through stuff. So for everyone to ask me a question and I answered, and also for those that I didn't answer, if I forgot, thank you very much. And thank you again for 4.5K. It means a lot. Wow. I said 5K by SummerSlam, and we might, you know, might have to change that to 6K because it's coming up pretty quick. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you really enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, share, and always subscribe. And we out.